Um, we got some new faces. And, uh, well, we start off with Tyler Sagan. He's got Axe and MP. So he's got max speed, 91 wrist shot accuracy. He's six foot one, 201, so he won't get bumped off too bad. And he also can play center if I uh, need to switch him over with the 91 faceoffs. He, um, he uh, played a little bit when he was in 88. He didn't play as well. He played on, like, second or third line. Now he's up to the, the first line here. He's got um, 35 points in 50 games, which is amazing. But he's... Um, has gotten most of his points in the last couple games. He went up to the 89. I feel like a lot better. I didn't have X activated either. Well, actually, it didn't matter if I actually I didn't have MP activated, which is net front presence. It gives a balanced hand-eye strength and offense awareness. So he's in the positions a lot better. Next up, we got Brendan Morrison. He's got 96 speed with 88 wrist shot accuracy, 92 face offs. Um, he's all right. Could be better. We got the new gun. Haven't played a game with him. Pulled him in a hot rivals pack. 90, 90 wrist shot actually is kind of low, right? But we activated TN. Um, which gave us... What gives us... Plus 3 to wrist shot accuracy. So that's 93. So it makes it a lot better. A 90 compared to 93. He's going to score most, almost every shot. He's got the passing now up. Um, max speed, obviously. He's got really good puck control. He's 6 one 2 one just like uh, Zagan. Um, he's got the 2SP, which is huge, so I can replace people. And, uh, yeah. He's going to be a very good card. I can't wait to use him. Uh, we then, and then That means we put Verona down to the second line. He used to be my best player. Um, he's still very, very good. <laughs> he's going to do so well on a second line now, compared to a first. He's got BL on him, which is, um, which is, who knows, which is hold the blue line, which is very weird for, but that gives him higher slap shot, actually, puck control, offense awareness, which is very good, again. Nekis, he's went up a lot, fantasy card. He's got the MP, just like Sagan. He's got a little bit lower on the shot, I'd say, but 92 face-offs, which is really good for center. 90... Sh uh, shot. He's he's a bigger guy too, six two. Bump people off the puck. Um, centers are hard this year, so that's fine. And then we got the new guy, uh, Mark Shifley. Haven't played a game with him. He's got the X, so he's max speed. He's got the MP, so he's in position very well. Uh, eighty nine wrist shot accuracy too, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, haven't played a game with him, but he's six three, so should be fine. And then we got Mitchell Marner. This guy's debatable. I, I, he's untradeable, so I'm gonna keep him on the team. But I don't know if I like him or not. I don't think they did his card that well. I, I think he's a lot better than his card. I mean, I think he should play a lot better than this All Star Game card is. I wish he would have scored. Like, I don't know why Mitchell Martin didn't score at all. But well, he's he's got 96 speed. I thought he should be max. I don't know why Martin's not max speed as an All Star Game card, but. He's got 89 wrist shot accuracy. That's all you need from him. He's got 17 points in 24 games. That's not terrible. Um, especially third line. And then we got new the Thomas Hurdle. Hasn't got a point yet, but I like I lo I liked his 86 card, so I have to like his. Uh, I'd I'd love to his 88, but and he also has the TN. So now he didn't have it before. Now he's got 91 wrist shot accuracy. So it'd probably make a big difference. Um, the blue line too, so that's very good too. And uh, yeah, he's six two two twenty. Can bump, keep off the puck. As long as he's not getting scored on, he's doing good on the third line there. All right, next guy we got Elias Pedersen, the sniper. Guy just fucking goes out and snipes. He's got twenty three points in twenty four games, and now he's on the third line. Ninety six speed, and he has the WM synergy. That means he's got ninety five wrist shot accuracy. I think. WM, yes, no, 94. A third liner with 94 wrist shot accuracy? Wow. That's going to be deadly. That is going to be deadly. In the fourth line, we got Andrei Sveshnikov, which is 6'3", 195. He used to be on my second line a little bit ago, so it's going to be a huge upgrade. He's got the WM also, so he's got 89 wrist shot accuracy with 95 speed, and he's 6'3", so 
I took the good fourth liner. And then we got the Glenn Denning guy. He can't really shoot at all, but, you know, he's got the 98 face-offs, dude, and he's got max speed. That's all you need. And the TN now. So that means 85 for shot, actually. It's going up. Not terrible. And then the, we got Braden Point. Fourth line, he's got TN also, so he's got 91 wrist shot accuracy on the fourth line with NP2. 97 speed, that is not bad for a fourth liner. Defense, Brant Burns. That's all I got to say. He's got 54 points in 73 Hot Champs games. I've played maybe 10 Rivals games or so. And he's a plus 36, almost a half a plus a game, which is very, very good at a hut champ slash div one rivals level. He's got the four SP, four DK, four TK. I need to get TK activated. Yes, I know. He also has 96 speed, 90 wrist shot accuracy, bro. He snipes. He snipes. He's got 20 goals. That is not bad, boys. Very good card. And then we got the X, boys. He's got 99 speed. He's got 23 plus minus. He gets carried by Brent Burns, but still, it doesn't look like it. He puts in the work, let me tell you. So, then we got the new guy, Alex Petrangelo. Got the 2TN to get me that wrist shot accuracy. He's not going to be sniping much, but he's a send guy too. 95 speed, which is very good. 6'3", very good. So... 90 defense, huge, and and he can actually body kits. So we'll see how he goes. And then this guy, I'm actually excited to use this card. So I used this 86 and I liked him a lot, and I, I just couldn't buy this 88. So we finally got him. He's got 99 speed now with 63, 215, and he's got 88 defense. Very good shot. Um. And he's got MP. What does MP do again? Not for present. Balance. Offensive awareness. So, like, that's for the, mostly the power play. And then we got Shearnick. He's a very good third line D. 96 speed. 6'4", 225. And then another 6'4". 95 speed. The defense is a little low, but this guy is... Darnell comes in clutch. He'll body the guy off the puck. That's all you need to do as a D-man. So, this is the first time... Six two six five six four six four six three six three. We got big boys on D. We'll be able to body most people at the puck, which is very very good. So this is the team goalie, Darcy Camper. We need to get somebody different. I I, I can't get lucky with a goalie this year. Um, I wish I could just get a. How about you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna do two untradeable packs. We're going to get a goalie that will actually win us games. <clears throat> this is not was this is not part of the video. I wasn't going to do this before, but that I just thought about how bad Darcy's been recently. I mean, he's 6'5", bro. Like, that's mostly what, all I care about is height. Um, but who knows what goalies are good anymore. My friend is using a 90 Markstrom. He says he's liked him. He plays hot chance with him, but... I ain't gonna buy no 200k goalie. He didn't buy him either. He got him. He got him in tradable. So, and, and we got a Marion Hosa. Why didn't we get the other Hosa? The Hosa that's actually like special cardy. All right, and the last uh, pack of the the episode. You know, um, let's go. 80 overall. Miko Koivu, unlucky. All right, well. Thank you guys for uh, checking out my, my new my updated team build. If you guys have any suggestions for me or have any questions, make sure you let me know. Um, and yeah, have a great day, boys. Make sure to subscribe and like, and peace.